Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're going to be getting into our August Ipsy Glam Bag X which I'm super excited for. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial as well as what I got in this box then just make sure you keep on watching. Subscribe if you haven't joined my beauty YouTube family yet. We do tons of makeup unboxing and try-ons as well as skincare talks and hair care talks. Show your support. Thumbs this video up and comment and let me know if you guys liked the look that we'll be creating today as well as have just tried any of the products in this month's box. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers. This video is sponsored, not paid. Products were gifted on behalf of Ipsy Open Studios. I am now a part of their PR list, so we will be getting these monthly boxes to enjoy and review for you guys. As always, reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me and you are you. Guys, we are all unique. We all have different skin types. And even if we have the same skin concerns or beauty concerns in general, what works for me still may not work for you. So always keep that in mind. Also note, timestamps will always be in the description box below, as well as any other disclaimers and FTCs. So check that out if you wanna know more. Now let's get into this Ipsy August Glam Bag X unboxing. As you guys can see, I'm not in an entirely new setup. This is my kids' room. I have filmed in here before, but we are filming in here today because my husband stayed home from work. So the kids are still up in the living room right now. So we're in the kids' room. Hey, say hey to my fish. Hey, fish. We actually have two beta fish. Uh, they're both males, so we can't put them in the same tank. We are uh, trying to get another tank for the other one right now. The other one's in a cup, which I know isn't that good. That's why we're trying to get the tank. So. This one right here in the tank is, his name is Bluetooth. He's a blue one, of course. And the one that's actually in the cup, his name is Obi and he's an orange beta. So if you guys are into fish, let me know in the comments. Now let's officially get into this Glam Bag X, which I'm super excited for because today guys, we're getting into Alicia Keys as our celebrity Glam Bag X host. So this is our little card right here, baby. I'm freaking in love with Alicia Keys. I freaking love her and I love all her products. I have tried a ton of them before. So let's just get into it. So this is the August 2022 Empowered State of Mind. It says the key to empowerment. Sometimes it's all about blasting a power anthem, sticking to a self-care ritual, or grounding yourself with affirmations. Just ask music icon Alicia Keys, who's inviting you to step into your power with her limited edition Glam Bag X collection. So this is how our card looks. And of course, of course her picture because it's Alicia Keys, baby. It's Alicia Keys. Now, I do want to mention, again, I have tried some Alicia Keys products before. And if you guys don't know much about the Glam Bag X, it is an upgrade to the Glam Bag or the Glam Bag Plus. If you do have both memberships, you'll be getting the upgrade for your Glam Bag. With this box, you get seven to eight full-size product. And every time they do this box, which is quarterly, they will have a new celebrity. So these are all like limited edition boxes, which is so cool. And why I'm so happy to get this box today. I actually didn't know as a creator, we get these. So yeah, baby. The Glam Bag X is $58. So if you're getting this as a upgrade to your Glam Bag, it'll be the Glam Bag plus $45. And if this is an upgrade to your Glam Bag Plus, then it'll be that plus $30. The Glam Bag X does also value out to be around $350. Now we're gonna start a little differently. My last Ipsy unboxing because it was a double unboxing for the Glam and the Glam Bag Plus. We did talk about each of the products first and then do our makeup tutorial. But since this is just one box and there's not too much makeup in it, we're gonna of course do our makeup first as we do in our boxy charm videos and then talk about the skincare afterwards. So with that being said, let's get into our first product. The first product is this baby right here. This is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. I believe this is in the shade Vanilla. Yes, it is. This is what the packaging looks like. It doesn't really tell you much about it on the packaging. I know most packaging 
boxes they usually tell you a little bit more about the product or like how to use it but this one doesn't it just says the shade which again is vanilla this is what it looks like now i actually won't be using this because we have a second eye product which is an eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna save this one for another day but i do like the color i'll swatch it for you guys this is what the packaging looks like very simplistic and modern um, I have actually never tried a Bobbi Brown product, but I've always went to Sephora and eyeballed them. But for some reason, it just never got me to actually buy one. So I can't wait to try this. Um, I'm not a big fan of cream eyeshadows, mainly because I do have partially hooded eyes. So things tend to crease in that area if I don't set it. And that's a lot of work to do. I don't like to do all that. So me personally, I'm not a big fan of cream eyeshadows, but we're going to see how this one works because um, I do know a lot of cream shadows are supposed to dry down so I would probably just have to let my eyes close and let it sit there for a second to dry but again we'll test this out another day this is the shade it's very very neutral so I would probably like either use this as a base or a transition shade but I still do really like the color I think you could use this shade for almost like soft glam bridal looks as well um, you know to put right on the lid and smoke it out on the outside it doesn't smell like anything for those who are concerned about that because i know smell can be a thing it can be a thing the next product we're gonna get into is this baby right here this is the other eye makeup product which is actually pretty much the only other makeup product in this box this month which isn't a bad thing because we know alicia keys had problematic skin and I'm with her on that one. I still have acne and I am gonna be 26 this year. So my acne, we need to figure it out, baby. We need to figure it out. So I totally get the problematic skin side of things. Um, I get why she's so skincare based mainly. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup and she is beautiful. She doesn't even need it. So this is the Lawless The Baby One Talc Free Eyeshadow Palette. This is, I believe, clean. Yes, clean makeup that doesn't fuck around. It actually says that. I was so surprised. That is so cute, though. I still love it. Uh, so that's how you know. It's real, baby. It's real. So this is the packaging on the outside. It has a very, like, uh, I'm not sure what you call this, chrome or metallic-y kind of uh, packaging, which is really cute. And it does have the shade names on the back of the packaging. We'll, we'll open up the palette and see if it says it on there, too. And it says always free from silicones, power bins, phyllates, I never know how to say that, sulfates, mineral oils, PEGs, and carbon black. And on the back, this one does have a little bit of story behind it. It says, when I found out I was pregnant with my baby girl, I knew I wanted to create a special palette to embody this magical moment in my life. The color story is inspired by the feelings of romance, love, and femininity. I experienced on this journey. It's everything you love about the Little One eyeshadow palette with a beautiful gradient of velvety rose-hued browns and a romantic collection of rich rose, crimson, and plummy tones. Any shades in the palette may be paired together and the balance of warm and cool tones complements any skin tone and eye color to gorgeously enhance natural beauty. XO Annie. I think that is so cute. I got another simple but very cute looking packaging and yes this does have all the names right on the back for you i think there's some gorgeous colors to create a very natural yet still there eye look um, you can go like hard body with these darker shades or you can go soft glam with these lighter shades so it's really cute i think it's an everyday palette and we'll see how it goes we're going to try it out right now First things first, I am gonna go ahead and set my eyes off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and use this baby right here. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in 845 Warm Beige. I love this concealer as a base for my eyes to make the colors pop more and stick down. So I did swatch two of the colors just to get started. They did feel a little bit chalky on the hand, but it might be different for going on the eye. Some palettes are just that way. Um, so these are the two colors I swatched, which I am going to be using. I wasn't sure which one. So I think I'm going to use this baby right here for my inner crease. And then this one to blend it all out. First shade I'm going into is that redder one, which is this one right here.
gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and we're gonna get into that next shade Harry, the first shade i used was called which is this red right here that one was called unconditional and that is a matte crimson red now the next shade we're gonna get into is sharab the matte soft berry so we're gonna use the matte soft berry the sharab to just blend out the crimson color which was unconditional now i think i want to go ahead and take this very light shade honey child which is a rosy matte brown we're going to use that and sweep it over our eyelid we're going to go into this shade right here and this actually isn't a glitter i thought it was it's a metallic this is the shade baby love and it's a metallic mauve top so we're going to use that just along over that color that we just used, which was Honey Child, to give it that pop of color. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a brush and blend it out right here. Now, as you guys can see right here, the metallic shade does have a lot of fallout. Um, the other shades, I haven't really seen any fallout really, um, if I can say at all, but that one shade right there, that has a lot of fallout, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to have to clean that up afterwards, which is fine. And we're going to go into these two shades right here just to deepen out the outer corner of the eye right here. And those two shades are Sweet Dreams, which is a matte rich plum, and Unconditional again, which is that matte crimson red. I am taking that crimson red shade and just pushing it up a bit to blend everything out. I'm going to go back into my CoverGirl concealer and just clean that up a tiny bit. go back into the same two shades that we use for the outer corner the unconditional and sweet dreams and we're going to use that to underline our waterline we're also going to add a little bit of white in the waterline to make a pop of color Now I am gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and get into the last shade that we're using. Our last shade, which is gonna be our inner corner highlight, and that's gonna be this baby right here. And this is Little Doll, which is a light metallic shell. And we're gonna go ahead and work that a little upwards. And into the crease a little bit, not the crease into the bottom uh, lower lash line a little bit okay my beauty so this is how the look came out i am not completely done i do have my liner and then the next product we have in this box um i'm kind of like in a hate love relationship right now because y'all know i love a good liner look and i feel like just the liner didn't go that well with this look i don't know tell me what you guys think um but this is how it came out I did forget to use my setting spray, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this on. This is the Alamasca Hydra Setting Spray. And I'm just going to go ahead and let that sit. And while I let that sit and dry, I'm going to let you guys know the rest of the products that we used for this look. For the liner, I used the Serafine Botanicals Luna Liner. Then we used the Ruby Kisses Auto Eyeliner for the waterline in white we also used the item beauty boost juice lash primer i used the blue side which is the lengthening yes lengthening side and then for actual mascara i used my mac stack mascara i did have to film a reel for a blush that i currently just got um that was the laura geller baked 
blush and bronze marbleized two in one so this is the shade rose bronze natural finish current blush i love this blush though it's so cute it is giving that bronzy effect and then for highlight we use the k voss hey highlighter luminous highlighter palette um, i used the first two shades so I used these two right here, which is sugar and spice. I used both sugar and spice on the brow bone to make the color pop a little bit more along the eyes. And then for the nose, the cheekbones, a little bit on the chin and the uh, cupid's bow, we use this second shade right here, which is spice. Now I am gonna go ahead and go into my Italia Deluxe Makeup Ultra Fine Lip Liner in the shade Fuchsia. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so it doesn't take too long and then we'll get into our last product. So the next product we got in the box is the Too Faced Lip Injection Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. This is the Lip Inject Injection Extreme. Um, this is what it looks like. It does say you may experience a slight to intense tingle. Apply only within perimeter of the lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness may occur. If any discomfort is present, remove and discontinue use. Um, it does also say instant sexy lips. 93% said lips look fuller and more plump. 97% said delivers instant result and 97% said lips feel more moisturized lip injunction extremes breakthrough formula delivers both immediate and long-term plumping with scientifically proven advanced lip volumizing technologies apply day and night to naturally and dramatically hydrate nourish and increase lip volume it does smell good i i smell it instantly as soon as it came out the packaging Oh, so good so good i do already feel the tingliness of it so we'll leave it like that we'll see what it does again i do feel the tingly slash kind of burningness to it uh but yeah <laughs> um so far i do like it we'll see how it works um okay now i feel it a lot more a lot more i'm feeling it um, if you guys have tried this, because I know a lot of people have. If you guys have tried this, let me know how you guys liked it in the comments. Um, this stuff is stinging. We're going to give it a chance, though. The first products I'm going to talk about aren't by Alicia Keys, because we do have some Alicia Keys products in here. The first one is the Word Woke Cool Steam Eye Mask. Now, this is really cool, and I can't wait to use this. It gives intense hydration, reduces dark circle and puffy eyes. It's a cool steam eye mask, so you can, as it said, do heat and cool both. It says, good by eye to puffy, tired eyes. Woke Cool Steam eye masks were designed and developed to provide intense hydration for tired and stressed eyes. Combining the healing power of cold therapy, oxygen, and steam, each session boosts radiance while keeping your skin plump and resilient. 15-minute sessions help hydrate and soothe skin while reducing dark circles and fine lines. It has one eye mask, adjustable length and strap, one hot cold gel, reusable heating and cooling gels, and three heat cells used anywhere and anytime, single use sessions. Uh, this is how it looks when you open it up. It does tell you the same thing right on the front of the packaging. You have your mask. These are the steam session unscented patches. And then you have these in here, which are the only other thing that comes in this box. Um, it's a little sticky from the glue they put in there and it's a little hot in this room. So I think it kind of melted on there. Um, I could just put some ice and it'll come right off. But these are the cool patches. I guess you could put these in the fridge or the freezer and then you put them in the mask and put it on. So that's really dope. I can't wait to use them. Next product is this baby right here. This is the 
Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. I do love vitamin C. I do have some cleansers in use, so I'm not gonna be using this right away, but I definitely will be keeping this to use. Um, I can't wait to try this, and it does say key ingredients, vitamin C ester, supercharged brightening and smoothing, a more potent, highly stable, and less abrasive form of antioxidant-rich vitamin C. Vitamin C ester gives the appearance of collagen-rich skin by visibly smoothing, brightening, and minimizing discoloration over time. Unlike traditional vitamin C, vitamin C ester is fat-soluble and easily absorbable, absorbable for maximum antioxidant benefits. Uh, it says DMA intensive firming naturally produced by the human brain. DMA helps visibly lift sagging skin over time, easily and quickly absorb it visibly plumps skin to help support skin's face and protect against drying environmental aggressors. And then it also says copper complex, powerful skin strengthening hydration. An element found in almost every cell in the human body, copper helps visibly improve firmness and elasticity over time by hydrating and energizing skin. This unique element complex designed for maximum bioavailability. Non-drying formula cleanses without stripping skin of natural oils, visibly improving skin clarity, texture, and tone. Skin is left looking radiant and feeling refreshed. we have three products left key soul care i have tried her uh, i believe it was the promise serum i currently am using her radiant eye cream i also did try out her cleansing balm which is freaking amazing the charcoal cleansing balm as well as there was one more product oh the I think it's the body moisturizing bulb. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I'm on my second bottle. I absolutely freaking love that stuff. I use it on my kids' face every day, every morning after I wash their face off. Um, and it's, it's a really good body hydrator too. So I love it. I also love Key Soul Care because she always has affirmations on each one of her bottles. So you can get a little self-care and self-love uh, with your body as well, you know. And sometimes that's all we need to start our day or end our day and just give positivity to the world and us this is the obsidian facial roller and uh, the mantra for this is you are strong capable and unstoppable it says treat yourself to a gentle stimulating massage with our obsidian roller obsidian stone is a volcanic glass created from quickly cooled lava the roller will feel cool to the touch helping skin feel revitalized while improving skin tone and texture for an enhanced experience used with the skin transformation cream to help absorb easily into the skin you can stick this in the fridge um you can do that with most rollers so that's really cool and it actually has some weight to it so you know this baby is real gorgeous just gorgeous and that's the stone it's also really good to use a roller with your sheet masks so Skincare and rollers, best thing in the world. So now I have a volcanic one. I do also own a jade and a rose quartz. So we got the best of all three worlds, right? The next product we have in here is the B Luminous Exfoliator. It has hochicha powder and lactic acid. Lactic acid is very suitable for sensitive skin. It's a very gentle exfoliant if you're looking into exfoliants. Uh, and the mantra for this one is, you are layered, complex, and divine. I love that. Uh, it says, developed in partnership with a board-certified dermatologist, this water-activated powder exfoliator formulated with hochicha powder, mung beans, oats, and lactic acid transforms into a gentle, creamy foam to gently buff away dullness and reveal your true radiance. Skin feels soft and smooth. And I actually do currently own a exfoliator, not this one, but it's actually funny because I believe I know who they're talking about when they say board certified dermatologist. We as a Beauty Tap community, if you guys don't know what Beauty Tap is, it's a diverse uh, community of beauty experts uh, who get to review free products. So we have actually tried Key Soul Care from her before. And the board certified dermatologist that they are talking about, Dr. Renee Snyder is the dermatologist that worked with Alicia Keys to create, help create her brand and her products. Um, so that's super exciting. But we actually got to try her line herself. She has a, a line called Well People and she has her own charcoal exfoliant, powder exfoliant like this one. 
and I absolutely love that one. So if she was on deck to make this, I know it's gonna be good. It's a white powder. I'm not gonna open it because that does start the shelf life of time when skincare you know expires usually has around six to 12 months depending on what it is so that's what it looks like very gorgeous bottle and the amethyst bottle if you guys didn't know is actually really good to help protect the ingredients inside of it from the sun and it's also very cute like purple that's my thing hello <laughs> purple and blues last product we have in this box goes with the obsidian roller if you guys Remember me saying that uh, it's actually really good with the skin transformation cream. This is the last product right here. This is the skin transformation cream. Uh, these are actually some of the few products that I haven't gotten to try from her yet, from her line. So I'm super excited. I'm not going to be opening them right away. Of course not. But these will be on my mind every day until I am ready to. Uh, and for the mantra for this one, it says, you welcome all circumstances as catalysts for change. This potent yet gentle clean formula hydrates and nourishes for plumped and radiant looking skin. Bacachol, malachite, known as the stone of transformation, ceramides and hyaluronic acid help to renew skin. Bacachol, if I'm saying that correctly, is actually an alternative to retinol, which is really good for me right now. I am currently pregnant and retinol should not be used while you're pregnant. So now that we spoke about all the products in this box, let me just go back to the lip plumper. Now that baby was stinging for a hot minute, but it's fine now. It doesn't feel like anything's going on now. Um, I think it plumped my lips a little bit. A little bit. I already have pretty full lips, so I can't really say much. Um, but it looked like it did something. It did something, definitely did. I like it. I'll be using it more, testing it out more. Again, what do you guys think? Overall, I thought this box was great. I mean, it's amazing. They get to work with celebrities every quarter and I can't wait to see the next one and who they work with and what products they have and what products they love and wanna share. I have textured and acne prone skin so all these products are gonna do some justice at least i'm hoping which it should because key soul care products have been working great for me that is pretty much it if you haven't yet please subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos show your support give this video a huge thumbs up share it with friends and family and with that being said i will see you guys back here next thursday as always and as always y'all stay beautifully awesome Later.